Hello, my name is Kambi Sanani, and today I'm going to talk about neck and arm pain. The most common cause of neck pain, as well as arm pain, in the elderly population is neck arthritis, which can be pinching the nerves as they come through the cervical spine. Fortunately, most people get better with a little bit of time, some therapy, perhaps some medications. Occasionally, we send patients for epidural steroid injections that can also help, especially with people who are getting arm pain, tingling, numbness, perhaps some weakness. The most concerning thing that can happen with people who have arthritis is possibly having some pressure put on their spinal cord, uh, which can be a combination of the bony spurs from the arthritis as well as disc herniations. In these situations, more emergent intervention would be necessary. Here's an example of an MRI of the neck. Uh, we can see that here's the spinal fluid. Looks pretty nice down here, reasonably okay up here, but over here where the neck has a lot of arthritis, we can see that there's some pressure coming over and tightening the area. The same thing is tr uh, true when we look at a cervical x-ray. Here we have the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh vertebrae. Here the discs look okay, and then here we can see the discs have started to collapse. The spine is actually curved the incorrect way. Instead of being correctly curved this way, with the point being towards the front of the neck, it has reversed its curvature. This is the common arthritis that we see. Disc herniations in the neck are a bit more common in the younger people. Here we can see the spinal fluid again, we can see the spinal cord, and then there's a very large disc herniation here coming over and pushing on the spinal cord. The same kind of symptomatology is usually seen with the patients uh, who end up having neck pain, perhaps some arm pain, uh, numbness, tingling, weakness in their arms. Again, the treatment is pretty uh, conservative, meaning we send patients for some therapy, perhaps an injection or two, some medication. If none of that works and the patient continues to have symptoms, then we consider doing surgery. The surgery that we usually perform is a fusion surgery in this case. Here's an example of, again, a cervical MRI. We can see this disc herniation coming over and touching the nerves here. Uh, the surgery that we have done in this case is going in, taking this disc out from the front, putting a piece of bone in its place, and I'm putting a plate in the front, and we can see it here. The plate, the piece of bone that we have put in there, we can see the same picture from the front where we see the head and the mouth, and we can see the plate from the front view and then from the side view. This is what a normal neck would have looked like before the plate would have been placed in. Occasionally we go from the back of the neck instead of the front, in which case we need to put in more instruments, screws and rods, etc. Like any other surgery, neck surgery has risks. The most common risks include infection, bleeding, nerve damage, paralysis, bowel, bladder, sexual problems. Uh, sometimes the pain may worsen, requiring additional surgeries. You, can, you may get medical complications uh, for which you can get a heart attack, perhaps blood clots, or even death, although those are a bit less common. Uh, in the neck, we need to also worry about the voice box. Sometimes uh, the voice can change. People can have difficulty breathing and or eating or drinking. Most of those do improve with time, however. So in summary, neck pain and arm pain is commonly caused uh, by neck problems, meaning arthritis, disc herniation. Uh, most of the time, these kinds of problems go away with a little bit of time. Some therapy, may, perhaps some medications, injections. Occasionally, they don't. Uh, or if people have problems with their bowel bladder function, sexual function, walking ability, handwriting, what we call myelopathy, those are the cases that we really need to immediately pay attention to and actually go in and fix. There are risks involved, and that's where we try to balance the risks versus the benefits.